What is good, everybody out there? Thanks again for checking in to another episode of Court Thoughts, the channel where we basically talk basketball. On today's episode of Run It Back, we are going to be reviewing one of my favorite players of all time. All right? When in my last episode of uh, T Talk, if you haven't checked that out, please uh, go and give it a watch. I was actually making the argument that this particular player should have been included in the 75th anniversary team. And that plays Gilbert Arenas. Gilbert Arenas, at one point, okay, was literally on another level. It was literally on another level. He was in a godlike level where Kobe Bryant, Tracy McGrady, and Gilbert Arenas were literally putting up 50 pieces for the hell of it, okay? The guy's an absolute machine. He has um, a bunch of really interesting shows as well. Like he does a, a podcast that's actually really interesting. Um, be, be, if you're into podcasts, you might um, want to check him out. But his brain is really interesting to see how he thinks about the game of basketball. So I find him really interesting and, and um, definitely was a major influence uh, for me. Now, the channel that we're checking out today is uh, from a, a channel called Pete Slash. And the, episode, the actual video itself is called Gilbert Arenas HD. Really simple. I love it. So, make sure you jump over there, you give them a like and subscribe. Listen, the channel has literally only got 15,000 views. Okay, they're right near... I can say only 15,000, like I got 15,000 views. I ain't got shit compared. But my man is really, really close to hitting that 16,000, okay? So let's try and bump him up to, to that 16 mark. I'd really love to, to help my man out. And um, so please make sure you like and subscribe. Show the love that we need to show, you know? Like I've, I've mentioned a million different times, can't do it without um, content creators like this. So without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys. Let's check it out. Agent Zero. Hi, I'm Gilbert Arenas, and this is my story. Fantastic shooter, like amazing shooter. Catch and shoot, off the dribble, amazing. So quick, so quick. Ooh, <laughs> did you see that? That little cuff, that was tight. I don't think I've ever seen that. And the move to the Wizards. This is the period I really remember him in, when he, when he went to the Wizards. Tested. Hella shit talk too. <laughs> I always wanted a pair of those shoes. I never got my hands on them. I know Adidas is retro them as the Renegade. Bro. <laughs> Just killing them. Fuck it. That's one thing I loved about him, he was like super casual. Oh, dude, that was tough. Around the back, 
Defender comes through and then just comes reverse. That was so nice. One of my favorite moves of his, he'd do that like, like he just did that little skip dip. I, I call it like a skip dip, but... <laughs> oh shit. Bad man. And that team was trash. <laughs> so he was putting him on his back. Such a tight dribble. Oh, wow. Such a smart player. Oh, straight to the neck. Oof. Hezzy. That was a nice hezzy. That was nice. Come on, Starberry. <laughs> Damn. Here's Arenas. This for the win. Yes! A bunch of buzzer beaters. Like... Super, super clutch. Bear crawls. Them shits is hard, dude. I th I'm assuming that this is probably going through the rehab phase after he hurt himself. I'm pretty sure he hurt his knee. I can't remember exactly what he did with his knee, but I know that he uh, he did some real bad damage to his knee. And his trainer got the baggy fit, bro. You see them shorts? Shit, making TJ Ford look like he's undersized on his pants gang, bro. I think that might have been Jordan's uh, Jordan's trainer. When Jordan started to bulk up. I can't remember the dude's name, but I think it might be the same one. It looks very similar. Love that in and out. That in and out and the swing cross. Ooh. That was a really tight skin. See what I mean? That like little skip, skip dip, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Showing love. He had this like really impeccable form to his shot. I really liked his shooting form. Like when you see that when he's shooting in, in game scenarios, he had like amazing balance, amazing balance. Which for all you shooters out there, it's uh, tremendously important, tremendously important.
the same sort of B-roll from him after his injury. I know that he had multiple bouts of injury. Good turn seal as well. I know he's obviously just doing drills and stuff, but it's... Man, why are you gonna do me like that? Why are you gonna cut it to black? Bro? I think this whole blurb is in there because it was with Adidas at the time that impossible is nothing. Yeah. Hey, that was really dope. Really dope. Really cool. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, today's episode of Run It Back. It was really good to come back and, and watch some of the highlights from Gilbert Arenas. The, I don't know if that video really did it justice. Uh, you could obviously see a bunch of the highlights that he had were of buzzer beater moments. And when I think of him, I definitely think of Clutch. Like, the guy was so clutch. But his ability to just get anywhere that he wanted. And I remember listening to one of his episodes on his podcast. The podcast is called the, the No Chill with Gilbert Arenas podcast. And it's actually really, really good. Even the co-host does a good job of like trying to help drive the story. And some of the earlier episodes are actually about um, his, his life. So it's really, really interesting. There's also a really interesting uh, episode of um, him on All the Smoke. So definitely go check that out if you, if you like that as well. But he, he talks about this level of preparation. And, and that for me is really, really, like it really influenced me to hear him talk about his style of preparation and him making it very simple, exceptionally simple. I think basketball is not a very convoluted game. It's not a very difficult game. It's actually quite easy to put the ball in the hole. And we get really distracted by trying to make it much more difficult than that. Put the ball in the hole. Whatever works, works. Try to get from A to B. A is where you are, B is putting the ball in the hole. And he really understood that and, and simplified it to this degree. And it, it, I remember hearing him talk about it and just being like, wow. Oh. It's, it's, it just shows like how, how much he thought about it. And it actually got me to start to think about things in a very different way. So definitely go and check out the podcast. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of uh, Run It Back. If you do, please consider giving me a little like. Uh, and subscribing if you like this type of content. Anyways, please guys, look after yourselves and take care. Until next time. Peace. Thanks for checking out today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos, you can jump over to this section right here and you can check out some more recent videos. Alternatively, you can jump over to this side and you can give the page a subscribe and check out some other stuff you might like. All right, take care. Peace.